Okay, so what we've got here is my prized possession. 1969 BSA Rocket 3. Uh, last time it ran was in 1984. I got it running uh, in or on Veterans Day 2013. So almost uh, 40 years, uh, 30 years sitting still, something like that. So went through uh, polished cases, did a lot of cleanup, uh, coated the tank on the inside. Uh, with a uh, uh, marine acid to stop uh, rusting and uh, the other day went to go start it up to do my normal uh, weekly run through just uh, keeping it uh, running and uh, right after it fired up for the first time loud screeching noise out of the left side case and it locked up right here you can see it's just tighter than a drum so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some uh, uh, diagnosis uh, before condemning the engine and saying the engine is completely seized up, I'm going to uh, pop off the primary side, take a look at the clutch, all the bearings in there, uh, because the starter does go through the clutch. I'm going to take the primary drive apart, take the clutch off, and uh, then uh, see if I can rotate uh, the crankshaft. At that point, I'll decide if I'm going to start tearing it down, and I'll start uh, from the top down all the way down. Uh, one thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and get the tank out of the way just so I've got some uh, free room to work because I'm pretty confident I'm going to have to pull off the top end. And uh, the next video in this series I'll be taking off the primary cover and taking apart the clutch. So to get started, uh, got to have a number two Phillips and you've got some uh, tiny screws that hold on this uh, decorative color here. And before we get going too far, if you hear some loud noise on the video, uh, that's my neighbors getting all ready for deer season, popping off a bunch of rounds that really echoes here in the, uh, the garage. So uh, we got four of these uh, little uh, screws. We've got a nice little grommet on it. And once I take everything apart, like I've done in the past with this bike, I've got Ziploc bags. I'll uh, put everything in it, label it, so I can put it back together. Uh, all my parts, I have purchased uh, gasket sets, uh, rebuild the carburetors, a lot of different uh, um, things have been done to this bike to keep it running and I get them all through uh, Westcott Cycles and uh, Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida. And it looks like I'm going to need a little bit longer screw here. These top two are a little tricky. You're supposed to have four of them. This bike only has three. One of them uh, vibrated loose, came off at some point, and I just haven't uh, replaced it because uh, I have to chase the threads. Now, one thing about this bike, it's never been restored. Uh, my dad bought it new in uh, July of 1970. Technically, he was the second owner, uh, the, the first owner. Uh, had 18 miles on it and his legs were too short and he couldn't keep the bike upright at stops. So he took it back and uh, picked up a different model. So I'm just going to set that there and if I can remember correctly, I believe this center is going to be half inch and good deal it is. So this is the only thing that holds the tank on is uh, a center bolt that goes into a notch in the frame and clamps it down. I've already drained uh, the gasoline. Uh, these tanks, uh, there is a little bit of gas left in it, right along here, where I'll have to invert the tank and clean it out. Uh, I put these, uh, besides the filters on the pickcocks, I put these uh, racing glass filters on here that I get from a uh, motorcycle superstore. And that way I can see if there's any crap uh, coming out. So there's a couple of rubbers around the frame that hold it on, so, sometimes kind of nice and tight. Just be real careful you don't mess up the paint. This bike has been repainted. In 1974, my dad hit a uh, manhole cover and uh, laid it down and had some uh, damage to the tank. So he worked at a Ford shop and had the guys repaint it for him. I'll just leave the tank there on my workbench. And don't forget to take uh, the center bolt off and put it back with the tank so that you don't lose any parts. So uh, the next phase is I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop the primary cover off on the other side. 
Um, the only modifications to this bike uh, from the stock is I replaced uh, the ignition with a Boyer uh, electronic ignition. Put in uh, uh, instead of 12 volt, I got 6 volt uh, coils. And uh, to keep it running properly, I put in uh, some resistor uh, spark plugs. But uh, other than that, it's 100% uh, stock, got new tires on it, and that's it. So uh, look, look forward to uh, number two, where I'm going to pop open the uh, primary.